controllers in Wagga are fighting a new war against termites. In the cool, moist conditions, termites are thriving in record numbers and they're causing a lot of damage. After inspection, it doesn't take much to see the kind of damage termites can do. They eat wood from the inside out, making it hard to see, but as brittle as paper inside. Devastation like this is on the rise in Wagga and around our local region after a hot summer and now plenty of rain. Conditions are perfect for termites to breed and feed. We've uh, found a lot of termite activity from the summer months. Um, people are starting to find them now inside the homes. Um, most of the damage was caused months ago, but we're only starting to pick them up now. No home is safe from these tiny pests, not even new homes. Some more than others. Um, all areas around Wagga and Riverina are at risk. Uh, a lot of the newer homes are built with um, C2 timber, so it's, uh, they're less likely, uh, but all homes are, are at risk. There are several ways to kill termites. Pumping a poison dust formulation into an affected area stops activity. Getting to the source of the infestation is the next step. Most uh, termite problems that we do get in the Riverina are subterranean, so we try to get to them in the soil where they're getting into the property. Um, so that's when we drill concrete and or dig and trench around houses and things like that. Um, other times we try and find the, the cause of the nest, which could be in a tree somewhere. Termite damage is not always obvious. Giveaway signs are mud trails like this in doorways and corners. Every house should be checked by a professional every 12 months before the damage brings your house down. Dan Reid, Prime News.